Anyway, my name's Andrew, and this is a Hawk TV report. All of our lives have been impacted by the coronavirus in some way or another, and today I've got a brief list of what's open, what's not open, and what to do and what not to do during this time. The most important place that's still open is the doctor's offices. Most of them are still open, and hopefully we don't end up there. Grocery stores, farmers markets, and produce stands are also still open, and pharmacies and big box stores like Target and Walmart are also still open. A lot of restaurants are still open as well, but only for takeout because Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issued an order stating that restaurants can only do takeout, no dine-in, until further notice. I'm sorry if that is not correct. I am not sure. Other places that are still open are places like hardware stores, laundromats, gas stations, and those are just a few. Also banks, because you got to get money. What you won't find open are amusement parks, sporting events and sporting arenas, gyms, salons, and many retail stores. These are shut down to help slow the spread of coronavirus. So what can you do if you're stuck at home like me and you have practically nothing to do? You can go out and ride your bike or take a walk. You can play video games or board games. If you have kids, you can play with them, color with them, play video games with them, bake cookies with them, or watch a movie with them. Some people are using the time, like one of my friends, remodeled her room. I've also heard that people have been cleaning out their garages, which is very good. Another very important thing you should do is wear gloves if you go out to any of the essential places that I just listed. And something else you should do if you do get groceries is sanitize them. Wipe down milk cartons and put stuff like cookies and chips in Ziploc bags. A crucial step for takeout orders is to dispose of the carton when you get home and wash your hands immediately. Then you can eat the food. As far as what you shouldn't do during this time is hoard supplies because people like myself need toilet paper and hand sanitizer. It's not just you, everyone does. If you have a cough, fever, or any other symptoms of coronavirus such as shortness of breath, call your doctor right away. And also cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. And that about wraps up this edition of the Hawk TV News Update. I'm Andrew Carlstedt, and I'll see you later. Stay tuned.